I wish I knew. Welcome back to My Husband is My Best Friend. Tyrese gets emotional while giving advice to people who have financial hardships. I wanted to really jump on and have a real conversation. Poverty has been in your family from the beginning. It's time to break the chains. It's time to get off the pity party and stop feeling sorry for yourself. You, you think you're the only one who had to bury family members, mother? I did too. You think you're the only one who's been having their money to go up and down because the economy, SAG strike, writer's strike, all kind of shit going on. You got to get up, bruh, and you got to go get it. You think you're the only one who lost family, had to bury cousins, friends, parents, grandparents. You think you're the only one. How many invites are you going to send out to come to the pity party? Now, y'all know when I go through some shit, I'll put it out there and I'll be sad for a minute. But I literally not even conceptually, I literally can't be down for long. There's nobody in my life that's going to step in and help me when I'm up. I know people with way more money than me. And when I went through a tr some, the darkest period of my life, 2017, 2018, I got down to an amount of money that I won't even want to mention while having two mansions. My money was so low, it was unbelievable. And one phone call after the next with people that I know had 50 million times more money than me. Nobody showed up for me financially. And that was that reality. Like they love me while the champagne is flowing. But when it's time for you to step in and actually have my back because I'm the person who never asks anybody for anything, I'm about to lose it all. They would sit there and watch me do it. I wanted to jump on this phone right now and encourage somebody. Get off the fucking pity potty. Wipe your ass. Rather it's regular tissue or baby wipes. <laughs> Get off the pity potty. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Stop inviting people over to wipe your tears and play on their emotions and manipulate them and, and bring them in. Oh, I'm the, uh, uh, well, what's wrong? In the mind, in the mind, my mind. Now, I'm not being belittling. I just want y'all to know the shit that you crying about happened six months ago. What exactly is the excuse for you still being down and in that dark place? You go in the church, but are you allowing the word of God to actually get on you? Are you looking at this video right now saying, man, he's talking to me right now. And what are you going to do about it? I don't need an offering. I don't need y'all to put no money in the basket. I'm not asking y'all for money for the building fund. I'm saying I'm worried about you. You got kids, bro. You got kids. You have a child or you have kids. You have children. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. They're relying on you. We're not talking about no freeloading baby mamas either. So don't even jump in my comments about that. I'm always and have always took care of mine. You going to leave me? And you want to take my life with you? That's not happening. I'm going to fight you to the end of the earth. But as far as what mine need, they're going to have more than enough. It's not my job to take care of you and your life and go lavish your lifestyle and you decided to leave me. You're going to sit across from your new boyfriend, your new fiance, your new husband and be pimping off my money while this laying up in something that I'm paying for and driving around in and dinners and vacations that I'm paying for, I'm not doing it. 
But pertaining to my child or my children, they're going to always have more than what they need. I'm talking about those of you who are running around here broken and up and refuse to do whatever it takes to get it. Refuse to step your shit up. It is 2024. Every opportunity in the world for you to get it is right here. Thanks for tuning in to My Husband is My Best Friend.